Producer, Ferris, Ferris guest, Helen from the village of um, Casabras. So welcome, welcome, guys. Please go ahead. Let us know if you can hear us clearly, if you can see us clearly. And please go ahead, invite all of your friends and invite, um, share the live, share the live, share the live, share the love. Because here on the Late Night Show with Glow, we like to share the love. And the way we do that is by sharing the light. <laughs> so again, welcome, welcome, welcome to the late night show with Glow. Peter Pascal, I see you're already with us tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And his name is Fares, guest from the village of the, the coastal eastern coastal village of Casabus. And um, he is a gospel singer producer, songwriter. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the Late Night Show with Glow. I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope so far you've had a great week. And hey, Paris, good night. How are you doing? I am doing fine. I'm okay. Yes, so you, you can say hello to the people who are coming on already, you know. <laughs> Oh, hello everyone. I'm Paris Gis from Castle Bruce. I'm a gospel artist and I look forward to this interview. Yes, it's lovely to have you here, Paris. So I know you've already said that your name is Paris Gis, but tell us a little bit more about Paris Gis. Where is he from? You know, um, where did you grow up? Da da da, that kind of stuff. Tell us a little bit more about who is Paris Gis. Okay, well, I um, I grew up in Casabrus, I'm from Casabrus, and I am a gospel singer, artist, and a songwriter, and a music producer. And I got into music at a very young age. You know, as a young child, I was always really fascinated by music, you know, so I got into that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to making more music and getting more people involved in it. So, so you said that you started at a young age, but how how did you how did that start? How how did you, and at what age was that? Okay, well, when I was around in like primary school, my parents got me a toy piano. Okay. Like a children's toy piano, and that I used to be in that all day long playing with that. You know, I think that was what really like started me into making music, you know, because that really fascinated me. That little toy piano. So I was at that playing, playing, playing all the long. Oh, nice. So you have a toy piano. Yes. And, and, and so you decided, yeah, I want the real thing. Yes. So did you finally get the real thing? And how? <laughs> Well, not right away, but you know, like every time I saw people, you know, like, you know, sometimes at a show and you see the keyboard is there and you come and you just sit down and watch them or stand up close to them and watch everything they're doing. Or sometimes you want to like press some of the keys on their piano. 
and yeah. things like that, you know. And you know, eventually, when I got older, I bought one of my own. But yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. So, Paris, tell us, um, what really influenced you though to 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 get into music? Because you're a singer, you're a songwriter, you're a producer. Yeah. What really got you? I mean, yeah, we all have those little toys and we wish we wanted to play them, we want them, we grow attached to them, we learn about them, we end up getting them. But what really influenced, what inspired you to get into the music business? Well, okay, um, I always used to um, write songs. Since I was uh, at a young age, like in maybe first form, I always used to write songs, but nobody never knew about that. I was yeah. just doing that right. My, but one day a friend of mine came by and you know he was talking to me. He like he always used to come for me to transfer his music files for him because I was not computer savvy. He would come by for me to transfer his music files and stuff for him. And then like one day he found out I was writing songs. So he decided he told me to come to the studio with him. So I was in about like second form at that time. So he told me to come to the studio, and I did that one song in the studio. And since after that, I just, it was just, it was just my friend. His name is Pastor Free, the gospel singer also. Okay. And yeah. That's how I really got into singing music. Nice, nice. So, yeah. so what, was, what, was, what was your first uh, song? Because you write as well. And yes. do you write all of your music, though? Yes, I do. You write all of it. And do you yeah. also produce all of it? Well, not the producing, but I produce all of my music. I write all of it. Okay. I record all of it, but some of the some I don't produce all of it all the time. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. do, do, what is your first song that you ever wrote? And... Okay, my first song, in, I don't do this song. It's not my challenge, actually. Okay, it's okay. called Lifeline. I want okay. a song about asking God to be my lifeline. So, so that was my first song I ever recorded. That was your first song, Lifeline. Yes, but lifeline. you don't have it, so we can't listen to it. No, I don't think it's on it. Paris, I'm hearing earlier on we didn't have that, but I'm hearing a little bit of a feedback coming from you. Are you, I don't know what is causing that. Is it something on your end by chance? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if you want to just check out. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. While, while Paris is checking out, he's sounding a little bit because I'm hearing a bit of a feedback from him. So welcome guys for joining us. I see that Peter is here, Nisi, Carol, Caesar. so far. You're the guys who are on board and first in the show tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight on the Late Night Show with Flo. Um, Faris is just checking out his um, sounding a little bit. Let us know if you can hear us clearly, because at times, you know, we have a little bit of technical issues. It's nothing to do with us, it's the internet, but if you're not hearing us clearly, please let us know. If you can see us clearly, let us know. And thank you guys so much for joining us on the Late Night Show with Glow. So far as you said that your first song was Lifeline. And, um, yes, that's true. Can you just say something again, just so that we can hear you to know if you're sounding clearly? Because I'm hearing a bad feedback from you. On you're my still end. Hearing? Still hearing? Um, no, it's gone. It sounds good. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Okay, so can can you say something again? Because I'm not. Can you say something again, please? Yeah, you hear me now? Yes, I'm hearing you clearly. I hope you guys are hearing us clearly. Please, thank you, Glenda. Thank you so very much, and welcome to the show, Glenda. Thank you for being with us. Glenda is a strong supporter of the late night show with Blow. She's always there to support and cheer on the artists. Thank you so much for for letting us know that you can hear us, Glenda. Thank you guys so much for joining us um you already told us who inspired you and and how you speak what 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 is where does your artistic inspiration come from 
Um, okay, well, um, like my songs where I get the ideas for them and stuff like yes. that? Yes. Okay, well, that would be like things that are going on in my life, basically. Wow. Like, yes, you... basically, that's how I get ideas to write songs and mm -hmm. make instrumentals, all those things. It's like what is happening right now, I just like write a song about it. Or, yeah. So, 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 so the message you want to bring across to the audience is? Well, I guess the message I want to bring across to them is to be original in their craft, you know? Like whatever you're doing, be original and let it be from like your heart, you know? Don't let it just, because you see everybody else doing something, just jump on board and you know, try to be yourself, you know? Yes. Who, who in your life has been your biggest inspiration? Mm, well, First of all, I'd say God, because everything I do is like God is in control of that. So I'd say God is my biggest inspiration. And for um, a person, I would say, first of all, my friend who introduced me to music, he was a very big inspiration in my life because yes. of his music and the way he introduced me to it and that stuff. And also, there's a music producer in Casabros. He really used to give me tips and always give me ideas on how to build up music and what I should be doing, what I should not be doing, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. who, yeah. who is that, may I ask? Do we know him? Is he a member of the group? Um, I'm not sure if he's a member of the group, but you maybe know his wife, you know, um, Abia Israel. Abia Israel, yes, yes. yes. Oh, nice. Wife. I hope she's. I hope she's here with you tonight, lending you some support here. Usually, she tries to listen after the show yeah. or something. Cause she's busy too. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So you get you get a, a big push and and in, you're inspired by them. What about your family support when when it comes to music? How well, good is they? They always support me in my music. They always um, encourage me to you know make my music and make positive music, make music that can actually impact people, you know, things like that. So yeah, my family is a big, big support to me. Yes. And I, I suppose you come from a very strong Christian background and family. Yes, that's true. Yes. I, I Guys, he has a, a Facebook group. And so if you guys are looking for inspiration, um join team jesus right are they invited to join team jesus with yes us? yeah everybody is like this. yes yes because he has a really cool very inspirational um facebook group right it's a group yes it's a yes. group and um it's called team jesus and um he has he also does a little bit of a pastoring he gives a little bit of the word he, he, yeah yes <laughs> where does yes, that come from are you are you planning to be a pastor sometime in the future? <laughs> well, I'm uh, not sure if God is willing then maybe, but I I I more like to just teach you like minister, just give people a short little inspirational tips and you know share the word. But I don't know about the pastor. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you seem to be heading that way because I mean, I have listened to you, um, you know, express yourself some point sometimes, and yeah. um, I, I listen because you, you, you do a good job, you do a very good job. And I mean, I love your shares, uh, in the group Team Jesus because it sometimes, you. you know, this is why sometimes you see me click, you know, I, I, I make a comment or something, or I, I I like or give it a love thing because um, a lot of it is so inspiring. The things you just said, some of them he told, they, they really touched me. And I'm like, whoa, who told him no. I was going through this? Who told him, you know, I needed to hear this. So definitely, guys, if you would like to join a very nice and inspirational, he sends a daily word, you know, in first thing in the morning. And so you wake up and you see Tim Jesus, Paris is posted. And it's just a small inspirational note to you to start your day. So thanks for yeah. that, Faris. This is really cool. Um, yeah, you're welcome. What is, what is your creative process like? When you come to do your music, what, mm. yes. Okay, well, like I said, for the, um, for some of my beats, like, or my instrumental, it's like, I have to, 
I just speak of something that is going on in my life, and like I, like when you're a musician, you your music is like you make it to feel like it's easy. I use like it's words. It's like it's speaking to you in a sense. You know the music. Like I say, if like there was a bit of it, I'm Hurricane Maria. Like when Mary passed, I made that bit. I called it Maria. And it's like the way the beat was made, it's like it's feeling like you know, it's like the feeling it gives you is like you understand kind of. And for like my songs, for my songs, well, I would just get a beat that I really like and listen to it yeah. over and over. And whatever I yeah. feel like it, the beat gives you a type of feeling, instrumentals. You know, yes. so, and since I was small, I used to just always like to listen to instrumentals, just listen to instrumentals. You know, and these things like it gives you a feeling like I was putting my headphone and just listen to it all day. And it's like the words would just come for that. You know, that's how I really write songs. Just get a beat, listen wow. to it, and the words would just come to me. Something like that. You, nice. So you play you play the the the, the keyboards, right? Keyboard, yes. Do you play any other instruments? No, that's the only one I play. Is there any other one that you would like to play? <laughs> well, I can do a little on the drums, but that's not my specialty. I like the piano. The piano music is really relaxing and soothing, and I like that kind of music. The keyboard. Do you take the classes for the, for the keyboards, or are you self taught? Excuse me? <laughs> Did you take classes for, for, for the keyboards, or are you self taught? Well, I didn't take any classes. I kind of use YouTube and friends of mine give me tips and hints. Most of this stuff I know I learned on YouTube. Yeah. And 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 do you, you you do any other genre besides gospel music? Well that's that's basically because the music I, I, I saw one, I saw you have a track and it says boo or something, but I said, but that can't be him. But it, it was you and somebody else. And I was trying to get Which it again. Not? That's not you. It's, it's like a gospel thing. Lizzie or Kezi. A booyah, are you sure? Well, it's a sure booyah it? gospel or something like that. Mm. With Kezi? Uh, Kezi, no. Kezi is a song about Castle Bruce with it. Right, it okay, scary. so it's, it was a song about the village, yes, because I tried to get it back and I couldn't find it. So, yeah, but it's it's nothing to do with the Buyo. No, no. People come just, by me and sing Buyo songs, but I, I have never sung any Buyo songs. More dancehall and R&B type songs, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Wow, so... Um, let's take a few minutes now because we're almost 20 minutes into the show and let's take a few minutes to say hello to all the viewers who are here, your fans, your friends, maybe your family, the members of the Dominican Music Group, um, my friends, and everybody who's here supporting us tonight. Let's take a few minutes to say hello to them, see who's on. Um, I have uh, three different areas that I'm, I'm showing this on the Real Posse group, my page, and also in the Dominica's music group. So let's take a few minutes, and also you too. I, I suppose you shared it on your page, right? Yes, I did, I did. Yes, so I guess maybe you have friends who are also on. So let's take a few minutes to say hello to the people who are just coming in, and to those who are already here. Um, I have my friend Peter Pascal who is here, Nisi Francis, and I believe Nisi is somewhere in the Virgin Islands. Carol Barron, who is here in Dominica, Sis Michael Daru, I don't know if you know that person, but maybe a member also of the Dominica's music group, um, Glenda, Schillingford, uh, David Alsen, who is in St. Martin, and Francis Cameron, who's always on, and he says hello, and everybody says hello, and so we're saying hello to you guys. If you have hello, a guys. question, guys, that you'd like to ask Fares, please, Go ahead and ask him, um, interact with us, let us know what, what sorts of things you want to know. Nothing too personal. And um, I'm sure Paris will be more than happy to answer, right? 
Um, yes, I am. Let's go ahead and take a few minutes to say hello to the folks. I'm sure you can see who's on, and so you can say hello to them as well. Okay, I just want to say good night to everyone who tuned in tonight to this interview. I hope you guys enjoy. And I want to thank you for supporting us tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah, nice. So, Paris, thank you so much for leaving that little message to, to the fans and to all our supporters here tonight. Um, Paris is a gospel singer, uh, songwriter, and a producer, a young guy from the village of um, Castlebrooks. Yes, Castlebrooks has so many musicians. Where are you guys? Are you guys going on trees there? I want to know because there's a lot of you. <laughs> yes, there are a lot. Are we going on next? So, so, excuse me? I didn't hear what you said. Are we going on? Growing on trees. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've spoken to so many people who are from your zone. What's up yes, with that? There's a lot. We love music. It's we just... like... we yeah, love music. It's really, really nice. Have you crossed paths with any um, famous gospel artists? Um, well, my cousin, I think he's on the group, um, Tyron John Charles, he's from Salisbury, I think. I don't know if you know okay. him, but yeah, he's one of the gospel artists I sometimes do songs with. Okay. Yeah. And, and well, is he I would... Excuse me? As I was saying, I would like to get to know more gospel artists. I'm hoping Definitely. To. Yes, I, I, I mean, Dominica is such a, a, a Christian zone, you know, mm -hmm. holy zone. <laughs> we have so many uh, Christians here, and um, I, 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 I find that we don't have a lot of music, uh, gospel singers. I've been struggling to find a few, and when I found you a couple of months ago, I was very so I wrote a YouTube. I, I, I can't remember how I found your music, but of course browsing through YouTube. Yeah. And I yes. remember writing to you, hey, you're a New York artist. Did you write this? You remember that, right? And yeah, I was like, yeah. Can I have that show? Yes, and you kind of then you said, Oh, I'm at school and I'm like, oh no. So tell us about that. What do you do? Oh well, I am a teacher actually. I teach at a primary school in the Kalinago territory. And wow. I told you I was at school, I maybe mean, was at teacher's college, I guess. Okay, Most of yes, them. because I remember, I was like, oh man, he's going to be hard to get because he's going down south and then to come back up east. I mean, I knew it's a long drive for you. And so I said, yeah. let me not pressure him too much. I'm going to wait until the holidays to catch him. And I almost missed you because we booked twice before and we were not oh. able to do it. And I, we had to push back, if you remember so. I'm happy that we are able to do this show tonight. Ashley Francis and Avril, John Baptist, friends of mine, as well as Martha, Laura, they all here, they sent blessings, and Archie says it's an interesting show tonight. Yes, Archie, and so please- Thank you, thank you. With us. We would like to ask uh, Fares a, a question about his music and everything. Let me know, post it in the group. We can both see it, and we will be happy to go ahead and to yes and 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 to answer your questions um paris i know i asked you about this and you said um you know you you you, you work with your cousin but is there any artist that you would like to collab with dominican or international well and, there are some... and who is that if you had one artist that you could go open the stage for who would that be <laughs> Okay, internationally, um, well, there's one artist, one artist that really, really like his music. As soon as I heard it, I just fell in love with his music. He's a gospel artist, I think. A lot of people know him, Samuel Medas from Guyana. Samuel Medas. Samuel Medas. Oh, I think I heard his yeah. music before, yeah. He's from Guyana. I just really, really, really love his music. That is one person I would love to do a collab with or open war or something like that. 
and anybody and anybody locally too just in case <laughs> well there are local artists yes um like um abia do you know abia yeah. yes she and um there's this other one i forgot this name seems gospel i really forgot the name but i'm Jerry Lloyd? excuse me Jerry Lloyd? i don't know no 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 it's younger than that I just can't remember the name, but I would love to do and uh, any other gospel artists out there. I am open and free to do collabs with you. Anybody listening yes. is interested in gospel. That's my. That's what I love. <laughs> so, so do you have your own band, or, or do you work with a group when you when you do stuff? And what, have you performed um, anywhere? Have you performed? Uh, locally, regionally, internationally, have you ever performed on the stage? Well, no, I don't have a band to say. I just kind of make music in my studio, and no, I haven't really performed on any big events. Only like at church or at schools or things like that, but never on any big events like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what is what what is the biggest um, uh, the, the the best advice you've ever received? Is there anybody given to you? The best advice, um, well, that was to be original because the same guy I was telling you about, um, I um, a husband, um, Abia's husband. Abby's husband, yes. Yes, he gave me a lot of like, he always used to tell me, like, I, when I just started making music, I wanted to make like, you know, like everybody following that trend of like, let's say everybody's making dance or, or boy or, or trap and you try to make yours exactly like the other's own. Well, he was telling me, like, like, just be original, make it like be your style, your own thing, you know, it doesn't matter. Yes. And you know, I just like kind of followed that advice, you know. Yes, yes, it's done so, but let it be like unique and, you know, original, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like everybody else's own, you know, and I followed that and, yeah, that's well, one very, one very good advice I got, you know? Yeah. Um, tell us then, what is, the, what is one talent, and that's like a fun question too, but what, what is the talent you have? Like another secret talent you have that you're not using a lot of, but you wish you could use more. And why are you using it so much? A secret talent that I... <laughs> no, because you know, we all have different talents. Some of us are multi-talented, you know? And so we have other things we can do, but we don't mm -hmm. get to use it so much, or, or maybe, you know, something's stopping us from using it. It's a, But it's a talent, We another talent we have besides your musical skills of songwriting, um, singing, producing, playing the 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 the, the 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 keyboards. What else is there that you may have that you don't use? Uh, well, I had the hill talents, they're not even anymore. <laughs> and that was like that was like sharing the word and talking about the word. That was one of my nice little things. Yes, the gift of speech, the gift of speech. Like I still a long, long while before I actually started doing those things. There, you know, I could always do it. I always was reading my Bible and then the word, but like to share it, that was really scary for me at first. But it's not even. But you did a very good job. You're doing a very good job, and again, like. For those of you who are just coming on, Faris has a Facebook group called Team Jesus. And especially in these times, when you're looking for something that is a bit of inspirational, every morning, every day, I think you post every morning, right? Because I get it yes, every, morning. every morning. So every morning he posts a spiritual line, an inspirational line. And then once in a while, he takes a stunt at being a little past today. So I call him Pastor Perez because that boy, he can speak. He tells you about the word of God and it's very nice. It's very sincere. It comes from him. And I like it actually because um, it's not, uh, he's not yelling at you. He's not shouting at you. He's just speaking what you, what you, you, you get from the word when you read the, the Bible in the morning or something. Yeah. 
Yes, and it, that's very nice because that's where I go to in the mornings. To you know, sometimes you wake up and you're busy going and do everything else, yeah, and then true. I get a little, I get a little thing that comes. Paris just posted in Team Jesus, so I quickly go there, get my little morning dose of inspiration. I say my prayers, or sometimes I've already said my prayers, so I go there, and and it's always nice to get that, you know, to to have somebody who's not. And I suspect, I suspect Paris is going to be a pastor. <laughs> Going to be a teacher. I suspect you're going to be a pastor. <laughs> Nobody told me I was. Yes. So, sorry, another fun question for you is Do you sing in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I do. I actually do. When this nice. Song, and so, I get gospel songs? Yeah, gospel and worship songs. I sing in the shower. I think everybody sings worship songs in the shower. <laughs> Um, maybe not everybody, but I think a lot of, because sometimes, depending on what I hear playing, you know, on the radio, oh, yeah. on the TV, and I sing to that. If I like it, then I sing to it and whatnot. Especially if I'm doing this long process of washing my hair and entangling it. So yes, I sing. But, um, have you created any, any, any songs while in the shower? Like, you know, have you gotten inspir inspiration to, to uh, start? No, not really. That's... Not really my, that's not really where I get songs. Uh, I have to be in the studio for me to get a song. Or when I have it, my headphones in my ears, really listening to the music. You show I just kind of sing like people's songs. The other people's songs. Yeah. Yes, okay, great, good. So what is this? Excuse me, I didn't hear that. What is your biggest strength? Um, the biggest strength, let me see. Well, I guess that would be um, giving people advice. One of my strengths, yes. A lot of people have actually asked me for advice, and lately a lot of people have been asking me for advice. So like giving people advice, especially in quality things and music, giving people musical advice, I guess. That's one of my strengths. Okay, so giving people advice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So since you're on the giving people advice, somebody coming in new into the music industry, what would you tell them? You know, what advice would you give them? Okay, first of all, I tell them like, you know, listen to others because a lot of um. A lot of young artists come to my studio and like the sometimes they like they love a song and you tell them that's a really 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 nice song. I think you should take that song and you know push it. And they like nah. Develop it. Hmm? Develop it. Like, yeah. yeah, develop it. And sometimes they'll be like nah, that I don't. I'm not feeling that one. You know. So I advise people to take. The advice of people that like you know uh have been there before and know you know a lot of them they like want to make music like that you know like the music like everybody's behind you know and like for just for the likes and the you know the hype and the yeah. but you know you know every time you should be like just jumping and doing making music just because that's what is like trending right now you know a lot of people they just they leave their original Thing and they just, you know, every, that is why it's trending. Let me just go with that. You know what? I feel like you should just be unique when you're making music. When you're making music, like make your music stand out, you know, just make it something totally unique. That's the advice I give to you, especially the young artists coming up, you know. Now we got to see everybody in that certain thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have your own studio. Yes, I have a studio, Yahweh Music and, Studio. And so, and as somebody listening tonight who's into music, who's doing their little thing, and they want to use it to, to, to come to a studio, would, are they able to access your studio? And now, how would they go about doing that? Yes, they can. You, you, can, you can share that information for people. Yes. Excuse me? You can share that information to those who may be interested in, in using your services. You can tell them a little I mean, bit about your studio. And 
Well, yes, my studio, it's Yahweh Music Studio. I think everyone in Kasuras knows, but if you come to Kasuras, just ask for Yahweh Music Studio. You should find it. Okay, and um, why I record music and I, I make beats, okay? So I make instrumentals for people. So if you need any beat making or music productions, Yahweh Music Studio is the place. And oh, one thing, that's the thing that a lot of people don't like about my studio, but I kind of, you know, I I don't make people sing explicit lyrics in the studio. <laughs> that's one of the rules I have about my studio. And a lot of people, some people have a problem with it, some people actually encourage it. So, but that's one of the things. I, because of the music I do, I know I don't like people just come and just sing any, any, in my studio, okay? So I have that. So no explicit stuff. No explicit lyrics. That's like, it's a rule. And, and, and that is that is something as well with the Dominica's music group. While I am an open person and I mm -hmm. um, celebrate all of Dominica's music, unfortunately, um, I've had to tell some artists that we uh, try not to promote any explicit stuff, and so we always ask members if you hear anything in the in the music being shared that i may have missed because i can't do it all and then um uh, kisha no 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 lisa can get catch it all so if there is something that you hear that is not pleasant to the ears because of the explicit uh some words in there please let us know um and i and and, and people should respect that you you have yeah. a studio you are a gospel singer and yeah. yes you offer your services but that does not mean you open it up to any and everything and, and that yeah, should no. be respected yeah, you also I mean. have you also have the um the the the, the, the team bits bits page or group or something like that as well where you have your bits uh, instrument oh, bits is, oh the is bits <laughs> well yeah, that actually what is it? It's about. Okay, well, I just wanted to have a like a site to showcase not only me but other artists. So that's not only my beats. That's different people. Okay, so that's like a, a place to showcase people on the east, like people in my village, like the young guys that okay. are making beats are interested in making beats. I post their beats there. So that's not just my music. That's like a showcase for. Um, me and some other guys that make instrumentals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how has COVID affected you with your music? Or has it? Well, it has affected in that, well, not a lot of people can't come to the studio anymore. And Well, I, I it doesn't affect my music because I'm right there in the studio, so I can always make music and put out, but Mm -hmm. Like for the people that want to come to make music, like I can allow a whole set of people to be there at once. You know, sometimes if guys want to do their collabs and it's like four of them on one song, you know, and after them, like I can't be taking all of your guys right now, you know. So sometimes they you know, that is a little setback, but. Well, so now with the internet and everything, um, how do you think the internet has impacted music? And, and is that a good thing for you now? Uh, do you use more of it with your music? And, and what are the positives and negatives of that for you? Well, yes, the internet has been a great help because like you can reach more people quicker, you know, the internet, when you post a song, like you send out all over the world, people all over the world is going to get to see that. So mm -hmm. the internet is a very good thing for music. I think it is a very positive thing for the music industry, the internet, because you can broadcast your music so much quicker. On the other hand, um, you don't really get to meet people and like talk to them one-on-one -on -one with the internet because like before, you know, people would have their CDs and going about and selling them and actually meeting the people, you know, but now you just post everything on the internet and it's like, yes. you know, yeah. you don't really get to meet the people who are listening to your music. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and and I, I suppose you have your stuff is being um, copyrighted, so you're yeah. taking care of that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So tell us, what one song of yours 
is a favorite for you because I know a lot of people say all of my songs are my favorites. I love all my songs, but there must be one song that means a little bit more to you than the others. And which song is that? <laughs> okay, I have a song called uh, Heartbeat. That's one of the first songs I made. That song is really one of my like uh, love song I made for God. You know, and that one is one of the songs I really, really like. You know, just talking about God's love, it's called Heart Heartbeat. Of, the Heart of God or Heartbeat? Heartbeat. So, song I did a you long time ago. Don't have it on your channel. Yeah, it's right. I think it's the first song. It's weird. Is it the first one? It's way, it should be way, way, way at the bottom. Okay. Is it on the Fares or Savio? Um, Yahweh Music Studio. Samuel. Okay, I, I don't have that one. I, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, tell us about that. It's, well, it's basically a song talking about how much I'm in love with God. You know, that was when I just got saved. You know, I just became a Christian, so I, you know, when you just become a Christian, you're like, all about God, everything is just God, 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 God. So um, I just wrote that song for you, like a love song. If you listen to it, you even think it's a love song, but it's like for God. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Where did you get, where did you get saved? <laughs> I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Okay. Okay. Wow. So that was the song. That made that, that's the song that means the most to you. And I think I just found it. And so we're going to listen to Faraz's song that means something and the most to him. And that was when he got baptized and born again, as the Christians say. And it's called Happy. So let's take a listen to Happy, because I think I found it. Yeah, that's the one. Thank 
my soul and spirit or something like that i feel it yeah. right that yeah. is that, that is that is really a love song to god and and it's truly somebody who just got it into the whole christian thing wow yeah. and so you give god all the glory for who you are today yes, yes. excuse me yes 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 um Shepherd Pond uh, came on and he said, Blessings, uh, Shaft is in the house. Welcome, Shaft. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have with us uh, Farah's guest, who is a young gospel singer here in Dominica from the village of Castle Bruce. Um, yes, well, it's just the Shepherd and, and maybe a few other people who have come on. And I'm only reading in one spot tonight because it's too much to go to the others, but I'm sure there are other people who are writing. And so um, your, your music is distinct. And I know you were told and advised to be unique and to be different, but this is your, your, your way of, 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 of uh, doing your music. How, tell us about that style because it's, it's different for truth. It really is different. So, you know, I, I listen and it has what? Is it like a dub or, you know? Oh, what, yes. What? <laughs> yes, that deep way you could never say. And all of your songs are like that, basically. So it is really a unique song. You know, it's different from, from you know, so is that a, what is it, a dub or what? Yes, it's a dub, actually. I don't know where I got that. I just started singing like that <laughs> and I just kept it you know because some people don't like it some people but most people like it it's like I just like a deep, my, my voice is very deep so some people just like that yeah. when I start dubbing you know it and it kind of brings out the music that's just my style of singing that's I guess actually actually it kind of grows on you because when I first heard it I was like okay um gospel but it's not the jamaican kind of reggae style gospel you know and, yeah. and then it's not a dominican way of singing gospel so it's different so what is it you know and um it does grow on you i also wanted to have something like you know like like old people can listen to it but like young people you know young people they don't like to listen to any and especially yeah. a gospel it's like oh it's like some kind of you know like yes. some kind of boring kind of thing like that but i want it to be lively you know upbeat. yes it, it really is it, it really is something because when you listen to the lyrics boy you can write where does all of that come from and of course i know if when you're in love with god and if Jesus, like you say, and you seem to be, and you in in all of your music, Adonai, um, you know, Gloria. I mean, I saw the word Gloria, and I was just like, you know, it's to give Gloria, of course, it's to give God the glory. And the, we, we know Catholics sing that every. I think we sing it at Easter and and Christmas time, you know. Yeah. So we know that Gloria is, is a very spiritual song when it comes to you know. And so, but your lyrics, where is all of that coming from? It just things that happen in my life. Because it's just... really, really great. And again, the, the sounding is unique. Your voice, like you say, is a very strong and deep. And I don't yeah. know what they call it, but I'm sure the musicians in there will tell us. <laughs> but it's, it's that heavy uh, voice. Mm -hmm. and then you give it a little dub thing but if you pay attention to the lyrics you know my heart my soul and my spirit or whatever it is you know you have to feel it and if you listen to the lyrics it's really well written 
Uh, well, and, um, I like I like to write. I don't like to just rush when I'm writing. I do take my time and write and make sure it has a message in most of my songs. If I'm doing a quick with the song for you know just for it to free up, I'll just you know sometimes I'll just write a fast little thing. But when I write most of my songs, I want to put a, like a message in there, like something like to you know some message like you can actually get something from it. You know, so I like to take my time and write my songs when I write them. You know, write them you can over tell, them. Yeah. yeah. You can certainly tell that you put a lot of thought into each song. Yeah. That it's not a hurried project. It's not something that you can see. I mean, you really put in, a, and you have a lot of music. Yes, I so you spend a lot of time writing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. But yeah, you have a lot of music out there. Mm -hmm. So you spend a great time uh, uh, giving. So you you really are a, a very spirit, uh, spiritual person who who spend a lot of time reflecting. Mm -hmm. In the present, and 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 you're in the east where the sun rises, <laughs> and so you wake up in the morning. What is your typical morning like? Because I know we know already that you are a, a, a primary school teacher back yeah. there in 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 in, in the Kalinago territory. So yeah. you have to drive what 10, 15 minutes to go to work. Uh, more than that, about mm, about forty five minutes. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I was. So, I'm only in Reno. Don't tell me I'm driving so fast because. Oh, you're driving really fast, man. Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes because I teach at the last primary school in the Kalinago territory, which is right at the end in Atkinson. So, so when it's... do you get the time to write so much music? Well, on the weekends and in the afternoons. In my afternoons, after I've done my schoolwork, in the night sometimes, I just, it's, and it's getting easier. Before it used to take longer, but now it, it gets really easier right now to write a song. It's like, it used to take me hours, now it takes me minutes to write a song sometimes, according to the song. Wow. wow. You know, yeah. yeah. And, and I think um, when, when, you, when you, because I mean, sometimes I, I can write a pretty, good something when i'm ready <laughs> and usually my my thing is early in the morning so i am a late person because i mm. like the quiet and then once i'm in a quiet zone my thoughts can just flow and obviously you seem to be that kind of person too that your your thoughts can flow because you're so passionate about what you do and um your music and and giving god the glory and reaching out to god and you have so many um, songs, you know, that, you know, Samuel, Samuel, Mighty, uh, Gloria, Adonai, um, What is Love? I mean, jeez, you're just oozing out the, 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 the lyrics there. Yeah, it's just Tell what is about that? your childhood. Yes, yes. That's Mighty. about... No, I say it's just things that happened in my life, you know, in like on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, I just whatever is happening, I just write about that mostly. Well I always try to, you know, include a message in there, you know. Yes. Yes. Nice. Tell us a little bit about Little Paris growing up in in in, in Castle Bruce, because that's where you grew up, right? That's where you yeah. were born and grew up. Okay. So tell us about Little Farris, you couldn't possibly get into trouble. I was a little girl that always got into trouble because I was in the sea every day. And so every day I got a spanking for going into the sea, but that didn't stop me because well, that was my thing. But you don't seem to be the kind of kid that got into trouble. You make me look bad, I mean, but that's okay. I mean, it was the opposite of you. Oh, because okay. I I was growing up, I still kind of um, was very like, you know, keep to yourself quiet kind of person, you know, only speak when you have to, that kind of person. I was not like an um, outspoken person. It's like my music is what, my music is what speaks for me, you know, I, not that talkative, I know, you know. And you, you have, you're such a humble, 
we can see right guys that from his whole presentation there tonight the way he is that he's a humble guy and and um it's nice to meet somebody like you because you're not old i, I can tell you maybe what 20 in your 20s 30s yes. maybe 20s wow wow so this is really nice to meet somebody a young man in your age group who you're so grounded it's so grounded in god and in yeah. your spiritual life and and bringing out the message through sound and now through words it's the spoken yeah. word you know and I, of course it starts with your writing and your thoughts writing singing and now you actually do the little bit of preaching and yeah. look, for all the many christians i have there because trust me i have been trying so hard to please the christian crowd because we had i think three pastors in here who brought on a lot of their congregation and i am so grateful i thank each of you for trusting me to do this and to bring in the congregation a lot of them because i know there's one that i went to school with and i never imagined he would be a pastor eh? but he is a pastor and sometimes he will invite me to church and I mean, when I go to this church, I always say, are oh, you having breakfast now? <laughs> and he says, Gloria, you're only coming for the program. I don't know, man. I'm coming for the vibes too. I'm coming for the music. Because you know when those churches start to sing. If you end saved, you get in saved to, to an extent, just from the lyrics too. And I love them. I love to go because, of course, Ed is my good friend. Um, I grew up, I know his, his wife grew up right next, round the bend from me. I know them. Um, and then I went to school together and when you go to the gospel church, I mean, I'm a Catholic, okay. but when I go to their church, you know, I can, the vice is kick. it is really kick because, you know, we are a little bit more conservative in the Catholic church, although we do have pumping music there too, don't get me wrong, we have really good music in the Catholic church, mm -hmm. but they have a full band, man, I like yeah, it, drums so and you, have a full, you have a full band, I mean, they, 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 take their, they take their worship and their praise serious and there is a full live band and they really hit you some good lyrics there to get you safe. So guys, again, Faris has a Facebook group called Team Jesus and every morning he posts a spiritual verse for you or quote for you and then he's also now just coming out of himself as the young pastor he is and he's also sharing the word and um if you're looking for something especially in these troubled times and to have a younger person um give you some spiritual feed faris is the guy check him out join his group team jesus and no you don't have to be holy he's not no, it's holy. everyone you don't yeah, he's not there looking to see who is a member because for me, I wake up in the morning and he's, I, I get this like a click say, Farah just posted it and so I check it out. You don't have to say anything. You can just like it. If you want to say something, go ahead. But yeah. it's nice to wake up to in the mornings where he posts a bit of spiritual thing. And especially now with youths today, it's really um a blessing to have you here with us and, and to to be blessing us with your presence because we need that in a time like that we need a young guy that's positive doing great things doing positive things so um we already asked you about famous uh, uh an artist that you would and you said the guy in in, in um Guyana, yeah. in, in Guyana and then you said as a local your cousin you worked with him as well um i see some new folks come on like sandra Poller and shepherd and so sandra says great stuff and um shepherd says great work to both of us because we're it's not thank just you. me guys if thank you very much. Didn't come on tonight we wouldn't have this show so please don't forget it's not about me the late night show and we're featuring Perez, and so he's the one we want to celebrate tonight and we have to reach out and say to him great going keep it going we're happy to be here to support you and we certainly appreciate each of you for being I'm happy to be here too. excuse me i said i'm happy to be here too 
and he and Fares is happy to be here with us too. Fares, if you could change anything in the music industry, what would that be? Um, well, um, I would like to see more, like, especially young artists. All of them, like, there are a lot of people that come to my studio and, like, young guys, and, like, some of them would be really discouraged because there is no, like, yeah, they are singing songs and their yes, music is nice, but there is no, like, push really for musicians, you know, like they really want something like 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 a, a platform where they can get that push, you know, because they see a lot of uh, musicians and they see them, they never, like, they, check, like, they never see them on TV or nothing like that, you know, like, well, there are a few that, you know, but majority of them, you know, they have so much, much talent and they like, not really any, you know, people help them climb up, you know, and that's why a lot of them get discouraged, you know, they come there, they sing music, and after a while they're just like, ah, you leave that music thing alone, because, you know, it's like, it doesn't, there's no, like, they need more exposure, more exposure, but I think is one thing I'll change, like, something to give the, especially upcoming artists, more exposure, you know, that is one of the mm -hmm. things I'd really like to see. Okay. Yeah. So for you, Faris, what is it that keeps you going? What keeps you inspired and keeps you motivated to keep doing what you're doing and to keep producing music? Well, music is like, what would I say? It's like second nature to me. It's like, it's like breathing for me, you know? And that's one of the ways I get my message out, you know, through the music. So it's like, Anytime something happens in my life, like I said, that is that just gives me, I just go and I start writing about it. You know, that is like my motivation. When things happen, it could be good, it could be bad. You know, I sit down and I write. That's basically what keeps me making music. So I guess I'm going to be making music until. Mm -hmm. so, so what would you, what would you say has been your biggest accomplishment thus far? Well, in music? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, the creation of the, this, my studio, my, like, um, Yahweh Music Studio, I would say that was, is my biggest accomplishment. I have a studio, you know? And I just want to encourage anyone who wants to, uh, like, plans on having one, you know, don't try to start when you have everything. You know, just start now. You know, when I just started, all I had was a mic and a laptop, and you know, that was not really good, but I was just doing it on that, you know, just... And as you go along, you get more things, you add to it, you add to it, you add to it until you, you know, so... Anyway, anything, it doesn't have to be a studio only. Anything you want to start, just start now, you know, now is always the best yeah. time to start. You that know, anything, you have, any business, any, you know, things like that, just mm -hmm. now. Because, Wait, because now is really all we have as well, right? Yeah, that's it, you know. So you don't have to try to get everything worked out together before you start. You know, you have one thing, just use that until you get another thing, and then use that until, you know, you don't have to wait until you have the whole package for you to start. Well, once again, Safaris, thank you so very much for choosing to be with us tonight. I know you could be there writing some more music, uh, you know. Mm -hmm being creative in your own other space, but you chose tonight to share it with us and to share some about you and your journey within the music industry with us. We appreciate that so much. You're also a member of the Dominica's Music Group, and I want to say thank yes. you so much for being a member with us. Is there anything that you, you think we can do to enhance the group, um, to make it a better place? Um, what would you change? What would you do? How do you see the group? What 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 well, is this for you? So far, I am. I love the group. I love to see the amount of. I never knew Dominica that amount of you know musicians. Musicians. And, yes, and music singers and people like that. You know, and I love the group. I love. I hope a lot of more people would join this. Group, you know, Dominica's music group. It's on Facebook. Yes. I hope a lot more people would join that group, especially people that are interested in music. You know, there are a lot of people there, you know, you can meet people there that can give you ideas and tips and, you know, so it's a very good group. Nothing to complain about that group. Thank you so very much. And again, 
we're happy to have you to all of you who've tuned in with us tonight it is now 904 uh we're happy that we were able to start the show on time tonight and that we can end it on time tonight and so guys thank you guys so much for turning out for coming out to support for showing uh, showing us some love because when you come here on the show with us it is a way of showing us love and so we ask each of you to please go ahead and share the life let others know about our young musicians Fares is a young gospel singer songwriter producer he is from the village of castle bruce he is also a teacher so you're you're doing a lot by giving back to our our young to our youth i hope you're passing on some of that musical thing to them <laughs> oh yes that's actually another thing well i do have music classes at school so i teach oh. them the piano and stuff like that yeah very, very nice is that as an extra class or is it yeah. part of your curriculum no it's not part of the curriculum it's something i do on the side you know children are interested oh, in very, very nice wow yeah I'm happy to hear that. I hope you have other musicians coming on board teaching um, in songwriting. Like you can do that too. Um, yeah, I never tried that before. Guitar, I never tried and the drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thanks. Thanks so much for being with us tonight again. So far as what is next for you? Well, I am honestly, I'm not sure. You know, it's. For me, it's been like wherever God sent me or whatever he asked for me, just would tell me how it would happen. You know, it's like God is guiding and I'm just following along. You know, I'm not trying to rush anything or try to jump into anything. I'm just waiting on God for him to add the next move. Like, you see, recently I started making little short videos of preaching. I never had that in my mind. But okay. it just happened. So. So you're the young shepherd who is you're the young shepherd who is following um, oh, or the sheep following the shepherds. Uh, the shepherd, yes. Wow, wow. Guys, it was such a pleasure to have Faris with us tonight. And he is a young gospel artist. Please look him up. You can look him up as far as guest and you will find his uh, YouTube channel also as Samuel. But I, mm -hmm. I, I will advise them to maybe look at Samuel to Paris Gist first because on Samuel mm -hmm. there's so many Samuels there on YouTube. You have to say Well, they actually, um, you could search Yahweh Music Studio. That's where you get all my music. Yahweh Music Studio on YouTube. Yahweh Music Studios. Yes, Yahweh Music Studio. That's where I have all my music. Um, okay, nice. Yeah. So guys, please go ahead and lend him some support. We always have to remember these young guys, especially when they're so positive and their message is so positive and they're doing so much um, at such a young age. He's only in his 20s and already he's such a, a self-assented young man. And so I really ask you guys to go out there and show him a lot of love. Go, each of you, please. Do me a favor, do Faris, show Faris some love. Look him up on Yahweh, tell him again. Yahweh Music Studio. That's the name of my Yahweh studio. Yahweh Music Studios. If yes. you forget the name, his name is Faris Beast. That is where I found him. Look him up, you will get his channel. Please like and subscribe and share his music, enjoy it, and show him a little bit of love as we say thank you Faris, for being with us and again to all of you who have been with us on the show tonight Faris, you have the final word to say something to everybody who's been here tonight please go ahead and say something okay i just want to tell everyone you know it's been a pleasure being on the show with gloria i want to thank you for having me on and i want to thank everyone who tuned in you know i just want to I encourage everyone to be original in your craft. Sorry. And also, I just want to leave a little word with everyone. You know, that's my thing now as well. You know, 
<laughs> no, in these trying times, I just want to encourage everyone, you know, to trust in God. You know, God will take care of us. You know, just trust in God to take care of you. You know, you don't have to be stressing out and, you know, trying to fight your way through this time. You know, trust in God and let him just have his way in your life. And those who don't know God, I really think you need to get to know God. You know, get to know God. Just call upon him and, you know, ask him to come into your life and to make that change. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. brother. Fares Gis, and I know you're going to be a, a, a good little pastor there. I suspect one day you'll invite me to Mass, so hey, <laughs> I'm waiting for that invitation. But again, thank you so very much. And again, guys, Team Jesus is a Facebook page created by Fares. Please feel free to join. And you can get your little inspirational quotes in the morning to remind you it's a beautiful day. Wake up, smile, whatever it is. Paris always gives you that little bit of inspiration in the morning. So please go ahead and feel free to join his Facebook uh, group. And again, Paris, we thank you so very much. For all of you, all of you who have been here to us, we know the times we're living in. Please respect each other. That's the first thing. Mm. To follow the protocols. Wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. It doesn't take a lot for us to fight this. And every, every yesterday was written about the Colombian uh, strain. Mm. This morning I heard it on BBS radio. Mm. Please, guys, let's do what is right. If you don't believe in the vaccine, it's okay. You believe in the vaccine, it's okay. We all have a right. We all have our own rights and we all make our own choices. But the key is to respect each other. And so one of the things, some of the things we can do is wash our hands, wear our masks and social distance. We love you. We thank you. We say good night to all of you. Good night, love and night to everyone. And again, thank you so much for being here with us, Faris. Good night, guys. <laughs>